Hello friends, hope you are doing well. Today we will focus on how to install the software after downloading. Hope you have seen my last video where I have shown how to download Convert Backup software through the downloader. Now we will focus on how to install the backup software. After downloading, you must have got two folders, Unix and Windows. Double click on Windows and just you need to run the setup. To be at safer side, please run the setup as run as administrator. Here you need to select your local language. All this uh, 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 all these languages are supported. So in this video, we will go with that English. Click on next and you have to accept the license agreement. Just check this box and click on next. Here you will get the two options how install package on this computer and create a custom package. Creating a custom package I will showcase in later videos. But in this video we will see how to install package. Since we are going to install, we are going to prepare a backup software, backup server. So you need to select a com server. As you are aware, com server and media server are two components for backup software. So we will, as soon as we click on com server, automatic media agent, web server, command center, workflow engine, index store, index gateway, and content structure are automatic selected. So to control, to have a console, uh, to have a console console, click on this as well, so that you will get installed console console also. In Microsoft Windows, file system core and file system, these two agents, these two components by default will get installed. But we, as a safer side, we just select these two. Select. Virtual server is by default selected in case you need to take the backup of virtual VM, virtual servers, you need this. So this is the VSA virtual server agent in which, in which this backup server itself act as a proxy. You can install some other tools or some other agents. Just click on next. Here you select the installation part directory. Just select which drives you want to install the software and click on next. Here you select the index cache folder path. Select the uh, desired drive and proceed. Here it is showing the warning saying it is recommended to have at least 200 GB of free space. So that means for indexing, you need at least 200 GB. In this video, we will just ignore this warning and we'll proceed. Here you select the ComSoft database path, where the ComSoft database manager will get installs. Here you select the disaster recovery path. As per the recommendation, it has to be a network path, but in this video, we will select a local path. So here you can give a path. So it will automatically create one folder by name CVDR. Just verify the packages which we have selected and some of the packages it has taken by default like matrix server, mongodb, storage isolator. For more information you can see third party software which are getting installed by default. Click on next and installation will start. Just focus on 
फिर स्वयं फिर स्वयं विच ऑफ द पैकेज Now it's the stalling, the position core, acquiring counter, existing counter, meter server, all this, all this component getting stalled. So now it has installed my uh, comserve media and web server content structures. All this uh, plus seeing that is at all.
please make sure before installing the installation. Yep. So now you have to enter the client name and host name of the console. Automatic it will pick up. Just need to clear the next. Select always a great new database. Now, it will start creating the databases and 
other database which has required. So now the installation completed and it is starting all the services which is Jahilin Stone during the installation process. So, being a new user, you have to create a new account here. If you have any existing account, you can select this option and you can use your existing account. But for this option, you should have a internet. So, in this video, we will go with the creation of new account. So it can be anything, let's say edwin at abc.com 
and you can have a, any you can keep any password for the to log into the console console and same user will be used to log into the web console click on next and user creation will be done So the non installation is completed and you can select you can click on this link to go to the admin console and click on finish. Now just go to the console console. And you can log in with the same username and password which you have created just now. Now you are able to log into the console. Thank you friends. Please like and subscribe the channel to for more for more updates. To get the updates for upcoming videos. Thank you.